Hi guys, welcome to my first video. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a walking animation. Alright? So every time I load in, I always get this sprite. And it always gives me the walk animation. Alright? So look, I need an idle, and then I'm going to do it again. So you have to do that for every walk animation you have. So let me give you an example. Alright, once you like, once you get one of your walking animations, you gotta duplicate it and then put flip horizontal and then you'll flip horizontal. Alright? You have to put that for every sprite, even the idle for this. Alright? So now, what you go is you go to the vents first, get it when green flag clicked, you put switch costume to idle. Alright? Switch costume to idle. Make sure it's not the horizontal one like this one. Alright? Make sure it's the normal one. Okay? Then next you want to make two variables. One action. Alright? You can do it for this sprite only for all sprites. That's if for the sprite only, it's if you only for want it for one sprite. Okay, get action. Let me get direction. And there you go. No, no I did not spell it right. There you go. Direction. That perfect. Alright. Now, go. We already got our two events. Now you gotta go variables again set action to idle. Alright, this will make it stay still and it could be like that when it starts. Alright, now what you do you gonna go to by the way this updates every single time. You can just go like this and it'll update, boom. Then you can choose the direction you want. Alright? Now you get a forever loop. Alright, now you get an if else and then another one. Alright. Now you gotta get one of the key press, key space press, and go key left arrow press right here. Get another one, key right arrow press. For if you gotta get another Set action to walk. This will make it uh, for you to walk. So then uh, the sprite will start moving like that. Alright. Now, you get after that, you do a change x by minus 5. Alright, this will do it so then it can go back. Alright. Then what you do for right arrow, you gotta get another one of set action to walk. Like that. And then you get a change X by five. Alright. Then you get another action. This time you put it to set action to idle. Alright. That's just if you let go of an of a key it'll go back to idle. To like this. So let's test it first. So as you can see it goes like that. It's not changing at once, but um we can do that. Next you need to go to events again, get another wind flag clicked. And get a forever loop and get an if. Alright. Now you go to operators. You get a the equals here. And then we go down here to walk. Um, it, um, action. Action equals walk. Get next costume two times. Alright. 
this will make it to go for horizontal too. All right. Now you gotta wait. You get. You need to get a wait. Um. 0 0.1 seconds. All right. So then it will move fast. To get that, you gotta get. Now you have to get a win. Um. Right. Right arrow key pressed. All right. You need to get another one of this. This action thing right here is to make it to show the next costume so then when you're walking it's gonna show the next costume while like it's gonna show like a little walking animation like but it's supposed to be um so then after you get an, an, an if right here then you get an equals from operator get now you get direction equals to one get go to um looks get a next costume all right and then you get another uh one another variable and get set direction to one all right so then this will make it walk and then you know change the costume as well you gotta do now you gotta duplicate it this time you put left arrow um, oh sorry about this the right arrow it's minus one all right and after this you just have to do the opposite of it so you gotta do minus one and then keep this to one all right so then once you do it now it's supposed to work like that and then you can turn like that boom and that's how you do it. I'll even do a little zoom in right here. Like that. Perfect. And that's how you do an animation walk for your sprite. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to learn more scratch tutorials, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And yes, I'll see you guys later. Bye.